Hi, I'm George Howell, and this is Jennifer Howell, my daughter. And we're here to talk about how to make iced coffee. There are three methods to doing it. The one I think we all know, and the oldest one, is you brew hot coffee, you cool it, which takes quite a bit of time, then you put it in the refrigerator. Once it's on the cold side, you add a bunch of cubes, and now you have iced coffee, but that coffee is really stale. It's been sitting out for hours, it's become oxidized, and anything that was great in that coffee has long since departed. So two other methods are uh, cold brew and what I call flash brewed. The cold brew uh, is really uh, getting a lot of uh, talk recently, so let's just cover that uh, for a moment. It involves taking ground coffee and cold water uh, in such a way that you're really going to create a very powerful extract. And you let this cold water and coffee sit together for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. And, and now you have made this extract. You keep it in the refrigerator. And then you pour a little bit of that, add water, ice cubes, and bingo, you have your, your iced coffee. The, this coffee basically gives you a f flavors of toast, of bourbon, of vanilla, if you will, wafting through. Um, but you're not going to get necessarily the fruit notes or the floral notes that are found in the more delicate, more expensive, finer coffees. Uh, so I would use a less expensive coffee, certain blends and whatever, if that's a particular flavor you want. But again, it tends to be perhaps somewhat of a more boring drink for those of us who are looking for the flash brewed coffee which with hot water produces acids that would not exist by cold brewing. Also, you get more extraction because of the hot water and chemical reactions that bring out the aromas and other notes that otherwise would not be there with the cold brewing method. This is for those who are looking for the traditional summer iced drink, a drink that is refreshing, uh, that is thirst quenching, that's zesty, lively, if you will, uh, and that gives you that clarity with fruit and aromatics. I think of summer fruits that we get, uh, summer beers, dark beer in the wintertime, a summer beer which is lighter, zestier. The same idea, if you will, as with flash hot brew coffee. Great iced coffee is ephemeral. Once you've brewed it, it's really there for about 20 minutes. Uh, like great food or something just cooked, you need to have it then and there. The longer you wait after that, no matter how you refrigerate it, how you bottle it or anything else, it's going to lose the really wonderful aspects that, again, you might have paid a lot of money for. So you want to capture the moment of creation as it's happening. It's a little bit like having champagne and having lost the bubbles. The formula that uh, we use is to produce approximately 24 fluid ounces of cold coffee, flash brewed, uh, you need to use 63 grams of a drip ground coffee. Uh, the grind should be what you're seeing here, a little bit coarser than coarse ground pepper. You're going to add 515 grams of water, which is approximately 18 fluid ounces. And then finally, 264 grams of ice. And by the way, for your automatic coffee makers, they all measure cups slightly differently. So you really need to know how many fluid ounces each cup that is listed or named on your tank uh, really is before you go forward. Once you have that, then you can use the formulas I gave you a little earlier. So with this coffee maker, um, you pour, we, we put what is six cups, uh, and we, have, we know exactly how much water that is here. So we know how, many, how much ice cubes to put in here. We've already added the coffee. Uh, and all we have to do is really turn on this machine and it will do the rest for us. So Jennifer is going to now brew manually iced coffee using the Freda and uh, we'll go over the different steps. 
uh, which are included in here, but you can't see it with the, with the automatic. Oh, and last thing is, anything that we do with a Freda can be done with just about any automatic or any coffee maker there is. We could pull this out, not use the automatic at all, and hand pour uh, over the grounds uh, simply uh, and be done with it. Uh, another point with the automatic is that you do have, with a lot of them, uh, warmers that stay on, unfortunately, during the brewing. Um, that's not a problem as long as you turn it off immediately after brewing. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit of warming, but not enough to really harm the drink. So don't worry about that. If you have a way to turn it off and still keep it brewing, by all means do so. So let's start now with the, uh, with the manual. And I think the first step would be... Uh, we begin by pre-wetting the filter. And paper filters add sometimes quite a bit of paper taste to the coffee. So rinsing it's a good idea. The next step is we'll add the coffee grounds into the basket. And Jennifer has pre-weighed those grounds. And that's a lot of coffee to water. <laughs> but you'll, that's to produce the concentrate. You'll even the coffee grounds out and make a slight indent in the center of the grounds. Uh, before uh, Jennifer actually pours uh, the hot water over the coffee, uh, you can see that there's an insert here in the glass receptacle that contains the ice that will melt uh, as the brewed coffee drops into and through the ice, if you will. So Jennifer is going to first pour some, some water in a circular fashion, just wetting the grounds. And you're going to see the grounds balloon upwards, forming a bloom, if you will. That's what we call it. And uh, wait about 30 seconds. After about 30 seconds, we'll start to pour in a circular motion, uh, a donut-like uh, towards the center of the bloom. As you pour, you never want to let the bloom go above the coffee. And you can see gradually the ice cubes are melting, producing a, uh, a cold drink here. As you can see, all the ice has melted. And so this should be pretty cool to the touch, which it is, ready for ice. And we're going to try our coffees, each made with the same coffee. So they should be pretty much the same this over here and add some of this and this is on the cool side as well there we go and cheers 